Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 28th of February 2022. And we have a number of interesting news from the world of whiskey. Yes, we're not focusing on any other top news, just whiskey. Yeah, and now we have the, uh, the Isle of Isla in the news because um, there will be a new distillery. I've actually reported about this and the Illy distillery that's about to be built there. And now they actually went a step further and they, they, they handed in their building plans and applied for a building permit there. The Illy, the Illy distillery will be a very small carbon neutral distillery and it should be the smallest distillery on Isla. Yeah, they also want to build a shop and a cafe. Then we have another news from uh, the Isle of Isla, and that is the Kilshoman Distillery with a Madeira cask matured whiskey that comes to the market. Five years old, uh, 46 Madeira hogsheads, 50% ABV, limited to 17,000 bottles, so quite a substantial amount of bottles, 50, p 50 ppm, so it's a highly peated Kilshoman with a Madeira cask maturation. So no other cask involved, just Madeira casks. Very interesting. That was it with the Scotch news for today. And we continue with England. England wants to create something like Scotch. They want to create the English whiskey as a brand. And how they do that is the 16 English distilleries have been you know, binding together and creating the English Whiskey Guild. And they have now handed in uh, yeah, kind of um, yeah, a law they want to create with that. And they did a lot of things that they did, uh, did copy a lot of things from the Scotch whiskey definition um, with two exceptions that are quite different. The first one is they want to allow every wood to be uh, mature, uh, able to be matured for English whiskey. So you can use any wood that you can make a cask from or container, so it usually is called. And the other one is that the uh, ingredients for the English whiskey shall only come from the United Kingdom. What is the United Kingdom? United Kingdom is the countries of uh, England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Yeah, so how this uh, continues and if they're going to be successful, we don't know, we will fin find out in the future. Then we move over to Ireland. The Sexton Irish Whiskey uh, has now brought out a special Walking Dead edition, or they actually released it for the 11th season on the 21st of February. And yeah, it's very yeah, Walking Dead zombie style, 40% ABV. Um, we're not quite sure if it will reach Europe. It will be first launched in the United States. Then we have a redesign, kind of a late redesign. Redesigns were last year, probably this year, there will be a lot of redesigns as well. But Bushmills Whiskey comes out with a new design. It's more white, it has more edges, and it's a bit more lively, and it's yeah, more modern. So they go in the 21st century with their design, and hmm, how the people gonna react to the new design, we going to find out in the future. Then we have a new yearly, yearly bottling from Middleton. The Middleton Very Rare 2022. It's the 39th edition from the yeah, very, uh, very popular series. And it's um, whiskey is between 12 to 30 years old, 33 years old. And it's very, very interesting. And hopefully we can get one of these on our cask as well. So then we have a legal battle again. I'm not into the very, very details of the legal battle, but it's uh, um, around the name or the brand Peaky Blinders. For everybody who doesn't know, Peaky Blinders was a gang in Birmingham and they had these caps, these blinders, and they pulled them down very, very low. And so they were peeking from these, below from these blinders to people and very, very shifty guys and criminals and yeah, a gang in Birmingham back in the days. And they called themselves the Peaky Blinders. And based on the story of the Peaky Blinders and from what what's was known about them from arrest records and everything like that and photographs from that. Uh, Netflix had a production company and they produced a series called Peaky Blinders. 
pretty uh, successful. And now the question is, uh, do they own the brand Peaky Blinders or is that common knowledge? Because this is just a few guys in Birmingham calling them Peaky Blinders and kind of it was their brand. So shouldn't it be the offsprings of these criminals who uh, have this brand name? Yeah, so um, nonetheless, uh, Bushmills uh, has a five year old uh, legal battle with a production company from the Netflix show and yeah, it goes back and forth and how it comes out, um, we don't quite know that. But they want to actually release now uh, a permit for the label to get the product to the market. Interesting. Then we have um, more favorable news. Teeling Renaissance, 18 years old. Very, very nice bottle. Five and last bottling for the Renaissance series. Uh, it's 18 years old Irish whiskey with six year finish in Calvados casks. Very interesting. 9,000 bottles, 46% ABV. Unfortunately, it will be launched in Ireland, at least for now, but it will get to the international market eventually. Then we have another news from Teeling, and that is from the distillery itself, not just the bottling, but they actually want to do an upgrade of their visitor experience. I've been there um, for the uh, opening, I think it was 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty nice visitor experience there, but they now want to bit, add a bit of a street art storyline in there. So probably some, some nice uh, yeah, art exhibitions there that show you some how the, yeah, how the distillery works or how the distillery was built, I'm not quite sure. And they also want to create a handy um, app or a mobile phone app. And yeah, that is kind of like an electronic tour guide that everybody can download. So. Yeah, it sounds quite nice, but it's, it's, a, it's a minor update, but they will probably spice in some stuff, some more stuff in, and it will be an excellent uh, visitor experience afterwards. Hopefully everything will go well so we can all enjoy this new visitor experience. Then we have the Glendalock Distillery that brings out a new whiskey on the market. And it's quite a special cask that it comes from. It's a Misunara cask. Misunara is not the definition of what was in the cask before, but actually the type of oak that was used. You have Cuecos Robo, which is the uh, American oak. Then we have, no, Cuecos Alba is the American oak. Cuecos Robo is the... Um, Quackos Robo is the European oak, and then we have Quackos Mongolica, which is the um, yeah, Asian or the Far East Asian um, oak, and that is the Misunara oak. It actually grows more in Japan and South Korea, and yeah, it is a very hard to build, a very hard to manufacture a cask for Misunara oak because the tree glows very slowly, that raises the price, and then we have uh, the tree, it's also sometimes called corkscrew oak, and so that's really not good for making staves out of it. But um, when you manage to make one, it has a very special oriental flavor. Some say pineapple, some say curry, very interesting flavors that come in through this oak. And the Glendalock Distillery is very fortunate to have a seven year old single malt that comes out of one of these casks. They'll be probably very expensive. Yeah. That was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.